Hi there and welcome to my channel, Red Swede Outdoor here. Uh, I'm going to do something uh, a bit different than I usually do. I'm, first, I'm indoors and I will be for this entire series and I will do something that's a very strong tradition, at least in Sweden. I don't know if that's a tradition in other countries, but no matter, you will have to tag along anyway. I'm doing an advent calendar. And my advent calendar will be one video every day and it will be short, tops five minutes. And every day I will pick up some of the gear I've been using the last year. Uh, it can be anything from a spoon to a backpack uh, and anything between. It won't be a full review, just a short description of uh, the, dis the gear I've been using. So today I'm going to pick up something you've seen Probably lots of times if you've seen some of my videos. Uh, it's my one of my backpacks, and uh, I think you can see this. Uh, this is the old Swedish army backpack, the LK35. Uh, and what can you say of this one? It's it's a heavy ass. Uh, uh, the frame is solid steel, almost, uh, and. The material is Cordura 1000. Uh, it's almost waterproof and uh, the construction is simple, it's sturdy and mostly bomb proof. Uh, it's been popular for some years and the popularity has been risen. Uh, in itself, if you talk to the Swedish soldiers, they are not too impressed of it because uh, of the thin shoulder straps and the absence of uh, a belt. Uh, it's easy to find a belt online and uh, to mod this one up and uh, the reason I bought this one uh, a couple of years ago is, is the simplicity to mod it. Uh, I needed a backpack that was sturdy and that I can that was cheap and I can rock on with the sewing machine and so I put on some side pouches I checked online and found a number of side pouches that would fit, but uh, they all had a price tag that I wasn't prepared to pay. So I took that sewing machine and made my own ones. So it's a simple side pouch uh, with an extra pouch here where you can stuff things. I took some elastic band, hope you can see that one, uh, so I can put down my knives and my swords and things and keep them st stuck in the place. And on the back side, I basically made a long tube, and this is for my camera tripod. Uh, and inside, it's basically just a one big bucket. Uh, I won't do an in-depth video on how I modded this one, because uh, other people have done it before me, and they would do it so much better. So if you want a piece of advice on how to mod this one, uh, check out MC Bu uh, Bushcraft or Simon the Bloke in the Woods, because they had made fabulous videos on how to mod your Elko 35. Uh, I think this is a good bag. It can take almost any punishment, uh, but since it's become very popular, it's been the price has increased a lot. Uh, when I bought this one, it costs basically uh, less than 40 euros. Uh, if you check online today, you will have to pay at least 120 euros to get one. And if you're going for a starter backpack, look another way. This is not nothing for you. If you're interested, a collector in military, of course. Take this one. Uh, and if you want to mod a backpack to your heart content and money is not an issue, uh, please feel free. But if you want to start a backpack, I would look somewhere else. You can, at that price tag, you can find uh, backpacks that are, are ready to use. And you know modding needed. So, but I still like it. Uh, so this is for the 1st of December, my first advent calendar. Uh, my backpack. It's trusted it will stay with me for a long time and for an overnighter. It's basically perfect So Thank you for today. I'll check on you on another day. I bring you some footage uh, That's a bit better on the backpack, but I'll see you tomorrow the 2nd of December Take care